Hey everyone, don't go away. I'm going to show you how I reduce grease splatter on the stove uh, when I'm making a smaller meal for myself. Okay, as I mentioned, uh, this is just going to be something that I do when I'm cooking a really small meal. Now, normally, I have a very nice frying pan. It works great. Cleans up nice and easy. The only thing about using the frying pan is that grease splatters all around in this area. Now, it is very easy to clean up. However, I was looking for a way to reduce or eliminate that grease splatter. So, I have this pan. Uh, it's, I'd say it's a halfway decent you know, uh, pan. Not anything fancy or expensive. And I was just think of it as maybe just that it's just, just a I think of it as a taller frying pan. Now the ingredients I'm going to be using is coconut oil unrefined. Uh, coconut oil is supposed to be better for you. The reason I'm also using vegetable oil is I want to use this up. I just don't want to throw it out. So I'm going to put these two in, followed by my onion powder, my garlic powder, the Montreal steak. Now my other two ingredients are going to be this piece of chicken here. And I haven't done this before, but these are uh, pre-cut peppers uh, that I cut up. What I'm going to do is, after I've cooked the chicken for a little while in here, I want to put the peppers in and put the chicken over it to get these to saute a little bit. So we're going to see how that works out. I usually put just enough to cover the bottom, not even a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, I have my coconut oil. All right, this is a little bit of onion powder. Uh, next I have garlic powder. Uh, lastly, I have, uh, although it is for steaks, I use it on chicken, uh, and it comes out really good and tasty. This stuff is strong, so I don't use too much uh, in the bottom here. All right, I can see it's starting to bubble up here, so I'm going to turn this back down to two. All right, I'm going to carefully put this in. Now, since I'm doing this kind of uh, off the cuff, so to speak, I'm not exactly sure how long this piece is going to take to cook. So I will stop the camera while this is cooking, and I will get back to you when I'm ready to put the peppers in and turn this over. Hey everyone, it's been about, let's say, 10 minutes now. And what I'm going to do is this is the the peppers that I pre-cut so I'm just gonna lift this up and I'm gonna put these in really slowly carefully all right so that side of the chicken has gotten nice and a bit brown I'm gonna put this on a going to I am going to put this on a pot holder all right, so this is the stove area itself. Now there's a couple of droplets from, uh, I had to have the cover on for just, maybe just a minute or so to let the heat build up. Normally if I was using the other frying pan, I'd have grease and splatter all over this area here. All right, so we're gonna take this chicken out. Here's what I'm going to do. Something a little different here I just thought of. I'm also thinking how good this would be uh, for me if I'm cooking with just pure coconut oil. What I'm going to do is 
let these drain and a little bit on this paper towel I'm going to use a little bit of my uh, seventh generation just a drop I don't want too much so all I need is just a little bit in there I'll let that soak it'll make it much easier to clean I hope you found this video either entertaining, educational, maybe both. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share.